Good afternoon to you all. I hope that you're feeling blessed and highly favored on today. And uh, we definitely in for a good one. We're going we're gonna to talk some real today. We're definitely going to talk some real. Um, and I'm going to try to refrain from using certain language, but hey, if the spirit jump on me, it just jump on me, you know. But um, the reason why you don't respect men is because you continuously let tricks run your life. Now, uh, how we get into this whole message is because uh, all throughout the course of uh, the past few weeks I've been here, or since she really actually broke up with uh, Michael B. Jordan, they've you know been crucifying her. Oh my God, how could you leave such a, a young man? He's a, a bright movie star, this, that, and the third. Uh, you was playing with this young man's heart. Uh, you just uh, you for the streets. You couldn't, uh, you know, this, that, and the third. You wasn't ready for marriage. How could you? Uh, you wasting your life. All type of foolishness. They just been getting on this young woman, and. Uh, you know, instantly when I heard this, I'm thinking, wow, isn't this something? Because, you know, her her thing was to this, hey, I, I learned from this. Um, I saw some of the flaws that I had and I, you know, knew that I wasn't ready for that. And uh, this, it wasn't beneficial to me anymore. And so, you know, as far as Lori Harvey, if you've really been paying attention to her, she's been making uh, powerful moves from Jump Street. You know, she started off when the first time I seen her with Future Hendrix. You know, and then uh, jumped over to a Michael B. Jordan, you know, this, that, and the third. So she always in the mix, and she's capitalizing on her beauty, that youth that she has. You know, she's definitely capitalizing on it, and she's not staying locked in to one thing. And I respect this woman because she hasn't uh, been duped into having no baby who one of these men are being locked in for life. And so she still has that value. She still has that choice to uh to go from this man or to the next man as long as it's being beneficial to her and so in this particular regard i certainly like Lori harvey and but um you know with that i do want to go ahead and get into a major the majority of women in today's society a trick a trick was never designed to run anything um as far as in a relationship he was never designed to do that um, he really doesn't have the information in order to do so. Um, you know, he was in essence designed to be just that, to be broken on, and not just broken on, but relentlessly, <laughs> viciously uh, broken on, you know, and to know his place. Now, for a seasoned woman to be in control of this is her place. From start to finish. And uh, this is mainly due to the fact she is supposed, keyword supposed, to have more information than this trick. And so anytime I think of a seasoned woman, I think of one bearing the characteristics of a Lori Harvey having a complete understanding of, as to what's going on. And now I like this because it shows that she actually comes from Steve Harvey, who, uh, he tell y'all one thing, you know, as far as making men wait and this, that, and the third, and the 30 day, this 90 day rule and all this, that, and the third, you know, but his daughter ain't moving like that, you know? So that lets me know that he probably telling her something different than what he telling y'all, <laughs> you know? So I like that. But um, this has been reversed in today's society as far as the seasoned woman presiding and actually breaking on a bust or not a bust, but a trick, you know, a uh, buster to me, but you know, definitely a trick as we'll go into this message. Tricks are typically men of high prestige because you have to have money in order to be a trick. And so uh, it just so happened that women have forgotten their place. And in return uh, with, you know, cloud moving into the forefront of things, it's no longer um, who is a man. It's no longer uh, who has the correct information or the correct traits uh, that I should be looking for in a man. Uh, it's not. It's no longer who understands me, who can uh, I relate to, who should I be humbling myself to and actually taking on the world with. It's now just who has the money, who has the clout. Um, you know, that's really what it, it boils down to, who is in a high, pos a high ranking position. And they're almost signing away their rights and when you go to be with these men you're coming up short each and every time and you're finding yourself unfulfilled now why is this let's go ahead and get into it 
Now, I've already kind of mentioned it briefly, but these men, they simply don't possess the information or the correct information to preside over their situation correctly. Now, when I think of this, I think of um, men such as uh, men who has what I would consider to be that, that Jerry Maguire game, uh, or men who their whole goal is to tell you sweet nothings because a lot of men they think they have certain things figured out um, they understand that typically women are governed by their emotions uh, however you know me, women are trying to fight it nowadays well i'm a i'm a dog i think like a man whoop, whoop, whoop. I don't, you know now um, this that and the third like uh, you know they try to say all this type of stupid stuff but no baby you're not you're not like that you still going home crying you know what I'm saying the whole nine just to know you baby you're not really hard like that but um you know yet again the these men are continuously capitalizing on you because the goal of a trick is to get as much as he can for as little as possible. And his primary objective, of course, as we know, is to have some sex with you. He wants to fornicate. Uh, and from that point, he wants to go ahead and keep you in control. He wants the, um, he wants all of the clout that comes along with having a beautiful woman on his shoulder as a side piece. That is solely his goal. He wants to make himself look good. Uh, he wants to have some good sex whenever he wants it, and he wants to do that for as little as possible. Now, across the board, uh, we see here, and I, or I come to tell you if you didn't know, that men have been, or tricks have been bred almost from start to finish. They've been bred to think this way. Um, if you are familiar with this channel, um, I upload clips all the time, even looking back as recent as a, as a Herb Gotti, how he talked about how he spent all this money on the shine. He wrote hits for this, that, and the third. And he was surprised when she left him because to his knowledge, women are supposed to go after the bag, but Ashanti had a little game about herself. She. Uh, Broke on him, did whatever she needed to do, had sex with the man, boom, capitalized on him, and went over there with somebody who she was compatible with. You gotta love it. But um, outside of this, um, I look at uh, oftentimes men who just say whatever. Like I had one part like, you complete me, just whatever, like just saying whatever they can, all type of lies just to get into relationship or have relations with this woman. And by the time that you find out this is a lie, Oftentimes it's too late and you've been you've given whatever this man has desired and you got what you've desired as well um, But it just so happened that you didn't do it. You didn't come up in any capacity You, you didn't do a Lori Harvey. You didn't do a, a Kim Kardashian. These are not you know, these are not uh, hoes so to speak, but these are women who just have an understanding that Hold on, these men were meant to be broken on. I love Kim Kardashian so much because if you really know her track record, man, she from start to finish, she was bred to look at men, each man as a come up. Like each man was a stepping stone. I, I was watching Vlad the other day about the first uh, the first dude she was with, ugly dude, you feel me, uh, who was um, like some type of music producer in the game. He actually got caught up with uh, BMF as far as with the jewelry thing and whatnot. But, um, he was uh he actually wrote the the song for Mario that, that how could you um how could you how could you let that brother lay what I lay you know how, uh, how could you put him up on all of the stuff I taught you this that and the third just a heartbroken buster you know but this is how a trick should be left feeling because when you really utilize him for what he for what he is baby capitalize on it and move on to the next one, especially if you still have your youth. You have no business conducting yourself or trying to get married at 18, 19, trying to push out two, three, four, five babies, or having sex with numerous men. Baby, if you are, I'll put it to you this way. Some women feel like they're better than other women because they've had 15 boyfriends in a 12 month period. They've had raw sex with all of them. And all you had was a steak dinner, a bubblegum conversation. These men aren't even providing edification like that oftentimes. You know, uh, no type of substance in it whatsoever. It just made you feel good, bought you a, a, a lunch or a dinner, and you had some raw sex, and that probably wasn't even that good. And so what happens typically, and I would consider this person to be a hopeless romantic, if you continuously, in the year 2022, you continuously uh, go on this path, it's going to lead to destruction. It's going to lead to that bitter woman syndrome to where you feel like every man is the same. Like, oh my God, girl, I'm just about ready to turn gay. These men ain't about nothing out here, this, that, and the third. And it, you can't put the blame on these men, baby, because they're doing their job. They're doing what they're supposed to be doing. And, they're, and that's gaining off of you, getting exactly what they want for as little as 
possible. So again, when you give the trick or this individual uh, the power over you, it's going to lead to conflict. We know this across the board. It's gonna to come to a point to where you feel let down and that you feel actually used. Now, uh, it's a disgrace how, to me, and let me go ahead and get into this one as well, because um, it's a disgrace to me when I see women who um, have no regard or any type of respect for um, actual men uh, or someone who's actually operating in the role of a man, but will humble themselves to a little bald-headed white man on their job. You know, if you see, like, just to keep this little job or this little gig or whatever that they have, they, they stand in perfect pocket. They not saying it like, if you want to send them this, that, and the third, he's going, she, she's going to comply in totality. Only to come home to to her husband, only to come home to the man that's supposed to be presiding over the situation, and talk to him like he ain't nothing, like he a, like he a cold cock buster, just running circles around him mentally. Like yeah, you know I mean, you'll see this type of thing all the time. Or if you see how this woman conducts herself in front of a rapper or somebody who uh, is supposed to be um, a famous or a celebrity. If you see how she was to conduct herself in front of these men, how she's completely humbling herself and completely willing to do whatever is required to get around this person or to be around this person, you would be offended as a man. And it's really quite disgraceful. And you only make provision for yourself to be capitalized and used upon based on any time that you run across a man who you feel like has some clout, he can use this against you to your leverage. And this is how he's been thought, brought up to think. So you're actually playing in right into his hands as opposed to you looking at him for what he is and coming in with that mindset instantly because if you look at him how he's supposed to be looked at that strips away his power if you come in okay boom oh boss on the job trick if you come in oh a basketball player uh millions of dollars trick oh dang rapper this that and the third trick it don't matter baby you can, if you come in you get mesmerized by fame if you get mesmerized by clout you're going to get capitalized and broke on like a groupie you know what i mean you're going to get used up like a groupie instead of you actually noticing and, re and recognizing this man for what he is instantly and this is where um being around a seasoned gentleman comes into play or being around somebody who actually has this game who can actually navigate you and point you in the correct direction because oftentimes your emotions will play against you and this is actually to the renegade or to you know the halfway hoes out here you feel me who are just kind of doing their thing and feel like they on that level and baby you're gonna end up getting getting used and abused too you're, you're not exempt you know uh because you're gonna run across there's gonna be one out there that you find uh, you're gonna succumb to your emotions at some point because the woman is going to be governed by how she feels and so uh, just because you may run across all these trick body men all these little pot belly men or the, all these little you know tricks these wannabes you might you, you know you might be able to run through a hundred of them but you're going to run across one who still possesses the same spirit as, as a trick but he might know the mannerisms he might know the uh the hand gestures and uh you have so many imposters i have nowadays due to social media you can actually just pick out your favorite one uh whoever is coming with the, the correct knowledge or the correct information and you can actually verbalize you can bite everything that's coming out of his mouth and actually look the part into a woman who uh, might be attracted to this gentleman or you know dang he looks like he looks the part like dang he having money he doing his thing you could easily fall prey into this trap and then you turn around instead of you coming in and breaking on him the same as you would this little bald-headed white man you come in and you mesmerize because he actually got your flavor because you actually attracted to this one and you see this all the time now you don't felt you don't fell into this trap you done uh, had a baby by this man you locked in you don't got married you don't relinquished about 10 15 years of your life now you're looking stupid once it's over with or uh it's now it's done had an expiration date so to speak so um you know these are things that are going to happen all of the time and and I'm not against uh, the institution of marriage in no way, form, or fashion. Uh, but I feel I feel it should be reserved for your latter years, especially in today's time. If you have your beauty, if you have your youth, um, and now more than ever is the time for women to be coming up. You know, as opposed to you just having four, five babies because you're actually tainting a good thing. You're tainting it. I've uh, seen women across the board just beautiful women. They actually just, and it's of course it's in women to want to reproduce. Really, that was the first commandment, so it's in you to want to go ahead and actually do that. But, baby, think with 
the mind, you know, as opposed to just being governed by your feelings. And oftentimes you're not gonna be able to escape this unless you have a young man in your life who is really seasoned, who actually has this game and can, and can actually navigate you accordingly. Going back to uh, what I was saying as far as uh, men being bred uh, to be tricked, so to speak, this is across the board. Like I said, if you're familiar with this channel, I upload tricks all the time. We, we touched on Herb Gotti, um, Suge Knight, big old trick. Typically, any rapper across the board is going to be a trick, or even on down to the uh, the basic or the common man. I think back to the old Bill Cosby episode. My mom used to love Bill Cosby when he was coming up. And so, uh, he was, I remember the famous scene. He was in there talking to Theo, and uh, he gave him like $100. Theo like, I'm a, I can live off $100 a month. You know, it ain't nothing. You know, I, I'm a... Uh, you know, I'm gonna survive off bologna and cereal. It's all good. And uh, it ended up, he said so many things like how he was gonna uh, manage his expenses. And then uh, Bill asked me, say, you gonna have a, you gonna have a girlfriend? Uh, uh, Theo, of course I'm finna have a girlfriend. Bill snatched the rest of his money. Boop, let me get that, you know? So, you know, that's just one more example as to how uh, every man typically uh, across the board that I speak to, even when I'm in these jobs, I really can't even, you know, converse with a lot of these men about women because they just sitting there, hey, man, you know, happy wife, happy life. They talking about how they women running things, you know, uh, they talking about how how they just giving money away, how their wife is just a, an expense, a bill, you know? And so I'm looking at this, you know, across the board, baby, you you know, it is what it is. And I'm, I'm listening to these men, like they don't, they have no type of power, they have no type of authority, but oftentimes to women, like we were just saying, who might think they're cute or might think they're attractive, you know, it is what it is. But these men are actually ready, so you're doing yourself a disservice if you do come in, you plan with this man. If you come in in something that's, that's already ready to be broken and you don't capitalize on him baby i would call you stupid i would certainly do that you know but you know that's neither here nor there now as far as with this game if you are to have it you will at least know where you're going wrong you will at least know like some women and it pains me to see it like they're, they're so distraught they don't even know why they continuously run into the same dead ends they don't understand like what they're doing wrong you know they spend so many nights crying they're a broken woman you know by the time that they get up in age because they just don't see where they went wrong they, you know they invested in certain men uh you know they given their all to certain men or what they claim to be their all and they just find themselves coming up short but again if you are to utilize this game you'll at least be able to know okay boom this is what where it went wrong at. You'll have the identifier. You will be able to see exactly what went on and you will still be in control of this situation because oftentimes if you are going to settle down, if you're going to marry a trick, he's not going to have the information to, to preside over this situation correctly. So you guys are only justified in going to counseling, uh, this, that, and the third, going to certain things to help you or therapy to actually help you guys uh, work throughout situations. But there, to me, there's no better counsel, uh, counseling than a, a seasoned hoe who actually come from this game, you know, or a seasoned woman who actually done been around a man uh, who's from this game who actually can teach us some real things, that real stuff about life. You know, I'll even put it like this, you know, oftentimes when I'm speaking to women and due to you know, my demeanor, this good, you know, churchy appearance that I'm giving off oftentimes. I do believe in the discernment of women, but uh, oftentimes when I'm coming in, they're completely disarmed. You know, they're not up in arms at all. And I think it's mainly due to the fact that they know that this vagina is not my goal, baby. You know what I'm saying? That that really ain't even a big bargaining chip. Now, granted, if you stupid fine, like, granted, I may want to get into, you know, a continuity of that with you. But, you know, oftentimes... You know, that's it really ain't that really ain't nothing, baby. Like I've had, you know, my fair share out here to say the least. And so, you know, when I'm looking at things, I know that there's much more uh to this woman uh than just the sex. I know in this certain places that I'm trying to get to and I know if this woman is she with her under my instructions, she can definitely get us there a lot quicker and she can, you know, have get her portion and she can get hers and I can get mine, you know, and we can operate in perfect harmony and really just capitalize and tear the world up, you know. So I have an understanding of this and so oftentimes when I'm speaking to women, I'm looking for women who uh, are going to be compatible with me. I'm looking for obedient women. I'm looking for women who are attentive to the instructions of what's coming out of my mouth and to the man 
uh, of my caliber. And so, uh, you know, and oftentimes if this is the case, then the rest is going to fall in the line. As long as you hear what I'm saying, man, we, we really never going to have uh, any issues. But of course, until you become empowered, until you feel empowered, you know, because once you get exposed to certain things, you're going to want to tell, you're going to want to try every man as if he's that. And, uh, you know, that's going to be a mistake, right? Because you, you ain't got more information than me. And oftentimes, like I said, the primary objective of this trick, you're going to always have control over him because he wants this sex. He thinking so thirsty, you know what I'm saying? He thinking like, dang, he got to get to this. It don't matter what he got to do to get to it, you know? And uh, we don't, I'm not going to, you know, give you the complete instructions on how to do it. My biggest thing here on today is to just alert the woman as to um, what should be going on and that you have no place to actually be condemning the Lori Harvey because she's much, much more smarter than a lot of the women that I'm seeing out here. And so she really should be applauded as opposed to being crucified by social media. That in my opinion, all great women, especially in today's culture, or in today's society, um, you know, they really kind of come from the game. Uh, even all throughout history, you know, oftentimes women who uh, grow on to do major things or uh, really have an understanding as to how things are working, they come up um, knowing how men are. They come up being exposed to sex at an early age. They come up, um, a lot of them prostituting, you know. Uh, so by the time that they hit their 20s and they really reach kind of their prime years, they're so seasoned. So when they come into certain places where another young woman will be mesmerized, like, oh my God, girl, that's such and such, she instantly coming in. With that, with, with it on her mind, coming in ready to break on them maliciously. You know what I mean? And so, in return, she's going to be able to capitalize. She's going to be able to gain and actually put herself in position for many years to come because she's not easily deceived or just thrown off by some attention or some clout or some money. You know, all oh, that's foolishness to her. But we'll get to that later. So, uh, what, what, where your money at? What, what is that? You know, whatever her objective is, whatever her goal is, she's going to be keen and she's going to be focused on that from start to finish. And you gotta love it. Dangers. Lastly, the dangers of renegating uh, and halfway home. And we kind of touched on that uh, briefly, but um, already. But one of the key dangers of uh, doing it solo or kind of you know taking certain things because you have what a lot of people would consider game thieves who will come around uh, seasoned men like myself or other. Um, gentlemen throughout life uh they'll kind of take the information that's coming out of uh, our mouth so they'll come and sit for a few months and give this man whatever is required um and then once they feel empowered once they feel like they have enough information they'll be, feel like they're ready to take on the world and that they can handle and manage all these things by themselves but i come here to tell you today that that's actually a lie because at the end of the day for one um Again, you're governed off of your emotions, so you're going to fall victim or you're going to fall prey to one of these tricks eventually. Um, you're going to do things outside of the ordinances of the game. You're going to be more prone to having raw sex or what many will consider to be... I'm not even going to drop no juice. Y'all going to start thinking I'm something else, but uh, what many would consider to be a girlfriend experience, you know, just kind of doing whatever to get to this money uh, so you can compromise certain things, and that could definitely lead you know, to destruction. Uh, outside of that, you uh, have to also be safe. You're not going to have that level of protection that's around you, you know, because you ha you're going to have a tendency to get reckless um, or you're going to get into a continuity of playing with men's feelings and emotions. And uh, every man uh, isn't ready for that. And so if you're not a seasoned individual, if you're not a seasoned woman, or if you don't have an overseer or a protector around you, baby, this is still a male. You're going to get so comfortable with uh, breaking on these men and seeing them so little you know as far as with tricks like being beneath you you're gonna get so comfortable with that to where you're gonna be in some places you're gonna be in closed or confined areas to where you're gonna uh, be reminded very quickly that this is still a male that uh that you're dealing with so you know it's a chance that you might get choked out uh punched on you might get uh raped it, anything can happen if you are just playing with uh males who are physically stronger than you you know if you are playing across the board if you're playing with people's feelings it has a tendency to get dangerous so you open yourself up to that and uh, last but not least um you're still going to be heartbroken but at the end of the day because once you achieve the success that you wish to achieve baby you're still going to need somebody who understands you you're going to need somebody just as sharp as you that looks at the world the way that you do and let's say if you do decide to settle down and get married with a husband or boyfriend uh any one of these tricks will do if you run across a rapper and you feel like this is the one well you're going to find yourself getting treated 
just like the girlfriend. So you not only are you going to feel stupid, this is going to cause, cause resentment because you know better. You know that you're selling. You know you're standing in place to something that you know is beneath you. My goodness, you feel me? And that's, so it's just going to be a hurtful thing. You know, he's never going to be able to get that mind moist. He ain't going to never be able to uh just sit you down and just take you on that on that mental safari and just take you places that you've never been before he's never going to be able to just give you that mental climax or that mental orgasm that you so desperately need because nine times out of ten if you are a fast thinking woman uh like i'm speaking of like a, a lori harvest something like this yeah you more than likely you're a sapiosexual and so uh, you're going to need to be around somebody who not only uh, has book knowledge not only who has knowledge of how to preside over men but how to preside over his situation correctly and you're also going to have that desire to be around a man who um has that um that self-restraint you know you're going to want to be around that man who has the ability to to check things and put you in your place you know you're going to have that desire for that the one who actually has some instructions for you and that you can actually respect and uphold and look at in that light you know you're going to get tired of these tricks baby and, um, you know with that uh, definitely, I hope that you got something from this on today. And if uh, you know the main takeaways, baby, don't be uh, don't be looking down on a Lori Harvey. Uh, don't be looking at you know looking down on any woman who damn might have got what you desire. Cause for all you know, man, bro might be corny as hell. You know, behind closed doors, ain't no telling where he might be coming up short in a lot of areas. You feel me? But a woman like you, you so blinded by money, clout, this, that, and the third, fame, what his little position in life. You know, to where, um, you know. It is what it is. It might have went a different direction with you. But, um, you know, definitely don't let that be you. And uh, if anything, learn from this message on today and learn from uh, Lori and learn from a Kim Kardashian, Cardi B. Learn from all your favorites. All of them typically kind of come from the game, especially like a Cardi B. She was actually in the lifestyle before she, uh, you know, ended up with her. And so it's no, we ended up with Offset. So it's no surprise to me that her relationship is flowing exactly how it needs to be you know she riding for her man you know what i mean hey shouts out to cardi man i like her too you feel me but you know that's neither here nor there um definitely everyone uh feel free to like comment subscribe uh and definitely until next time be blessed